today's NBC 10 News. Happening today, we're getting details now, finding out more about a giant beach party taking shape right in Center City, Philadelphia. And this is where it'll all be happening. Aiken's Oval, right in front of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. That's where we find NBC 10's Jesse Gary, who's live there. Now, there's going to be a big announcement on the beach building project. What's it all about, Jesse? Now, Christine, good morning to you. The Oval was designed in the early part of the last century. It is now set to receive a transformation of the 21st century. Matter of fact, they have already started putting up uh, large flags here to give it a more summery field. Let's go ahead and take a look at our video. Beginning next Wednesday and running through August 18th, Eakins Oval will be transformed into a beach, boardwalk, and all the amenities just outside the Philadelphia Museum of Art, or Art Museum, I should say. The so-called pop-up park is the brainchild of the city's Department of Parks and Recreation. The transformation has already begun, as you're seeing, and over the next six days, this traffic turnaround will turn into a literal beach, complete with sandboxes, lifeguard chairs, oversized chess and checkerboards, ping pong, twister, a chalk area. Now, this is an artist rendition of the finished product, which, as I said, opens next Wednesday. There will be four food trucks, misting stations, lights and globes in the trees. I've already put those up, as a matter of fact. Wind chimes and painted buoys. Each day of the week will offer free themed programming. For example, Wellness Tuesdays, Arts and Culture Wednesday, Environment Thursday, Food and Flicks Friday, Music Saturday, Family Fun Sunday. The Oval will be closed on Mondays. Cars not allowed in this area during those times. Now, the project carries a $180,000 price tag from nonprofit funding, and the goal is to make this entire area much more friendly and accessible for the roughly 70,000 people who live in and around the Oval and the Art Museum area. The mayor is going to be out here later today to give his remarks and then next Wednesday a beach right in the big city you don't have to drive all the way down to the Jersey not that there's anything wrong with the Jersey Shore of course but you don't have to drive all the way down there come to the Oval you get your sand and your sun and this morning a little bit of rain it's very latest live on Eakins Oval Jesse Gary NBC 10 News we'll head back to you In high definition, CBS3 Eyewitness News. It's a beach theme for Philadelphia's newest destination near the Art Museum. Aiken's Oval has been transformed into a fun summer park. Mayor Mike Nutter helped paint over the existing parking lot to create a beach on the Oval. After the paint dries, sandboxes, chairs, and games will cover the beach. There will also be food trucks and live entertainment. And facing this prolonged period of dangerous heat, there is some common sense advice for coping with it. Advice passed on by people who have learned through, shall we say, on the job experience. NBC 10's Naeem Douglas is at the Ben Franklin Parkway. And Naeem, you talk with people who have to work out in this heat. That's right, Chris. I'm standing in front of one big beach ball. There are actually several about the art museum area here, and workers brave the hot July sun, excuse me, sun to paint these beach balls, but they weren't prepared because they say working in this heat can be dangerous. Painters gear up for another scorcher. They're working on the Oval, a new pop-up park scheduled to open this week on the parkway. But before it does, they need to get the space ready. That means working in this oppressive heat. You get used to it towards the end of the summer. It gets easier. Does it really? Uh, <laughs> well, I tell myself that. <laughs> Fortunately, they're prepared with ice, water, and... Gatorade. <laughs> lots of Gatorade? Yeah, yeah, lots of Gatorade. Taking a lot of breaks, drinking a lot of water, getting in the shade, sunscreen. They know working in heat like this shouldn't be taken lightly. Staying hydrated is really key. Let's go, water. Ryan Neer from South Philly is offering a break from the heat. Try to get as much shade as possible, you know what I mean? Drink yeah. as much fluids as you can. Stay in the shade. Is that why you're bringing your shade with you? Always. <laughs> <laughs> and here along the park where we did find people with cold water or water ice, and it looks like we're not going to get any break from this heat. The city commissioner issuing an excessive heat warning for Monday as well as Tuesday. For now, we're live with the Ben Franklin Parkway. I'm Naeem Douglas, NBC 10 News. Well, the days of having to drive to the shore for a little sun and sand are now over. Yeah, now Philadelphia has its own beach, sort, sort of. of. <laughs> Here's a live look at the Art Museum right now. Starting today, Aiken's Oval will transform into a pop-up park on the Ben Franklin Parkway. The mock beach has a boardwalk, food trucks, and misting stations. There will also be free themed programming each day. For example, Wellness Tuesday, Food and Flicks Friday, Music Saturday, and Family Fun Sunday. 
an opportunity to bring neighborhoods together to provide an awesome open public space for um, everyone to enjoy uh, for the summer. The beach will be open from 9 in the morning until 9 at night, Tuesday through Sunday, today through August 18th. And just a heads up, though, Aiken's Oval will be closed on Mondays, even though the beach won't be open, so cars won't be allowed to drive through that area. Make a note of that. Yeah, and for more information on the beach at the Aiken's Oval, just come to our website. It's NBC10.com and search the Oval. From the Fox 29 studios, this is Good Day Philadelphia. Well, that's something for the kids to do. We have something else for your kids to do all day today in Philadelphia in front of the Art Museum. Yeah, the Oval, the city's newest park on the parkway, officially opening today. Stacy, what do you see out there so far? Well, we're not seeing any people. We're a couple hours away from the start. But let me tell you, this isn't a park that has, like, playground equipment and slides and swings. Well, we've got something way better. We have giant, life-sized board games. Take a look behind me. This is a chess uh, grid right here. This will be uh, where they're going to have a chess tournament later this afternoon. We have a life-sized um, twister board. That's right there behind Tommy showing that now. We've got cornhole equipment. We've got sandboxes. There's ping pong tables, volleyball, mini golf. This is just some of the free activities for the next five weeks that will be going on here at the Oval uh, starting today, running from 9 to 9 p.m. for the next five weeks. So um, we're talking live music, free movies. We're also talking about food. I mean, this is good day. How could I not mention food? And every day there will be several food trucks here, new ones every day. And really it's so people can hang out, can enjoy the beautiful scenery um, of the skyline of Philadelphia, of course, of the art museum and the iconic steps here where you can just hang out. Your kids can play. The adults can play. You can have a little bite of food. I can just sit back and take a, a look at the scenery. They have Adirondack chairs to hang out on. And really, um, at night, this is going to be all lit up. They have Chinese lanterns hanging. And uh, it's really going to be something special. Coming up in the next hour, I'll break it down for you, what you could expect each day of the week. Um, there'll be certain days for art, certain days for music. So I'll have all that for you coming up in our 8 o'clock hour. For oh, now. it's not Thank just you. today. This is cool. I guess it goes all the way down to the fountain. Just yeah, in front of the great. Uh, I love art the setup. museum. Maybe I'll go over there in like a, a tank top and uh, and play some twister. Playing chess, in right? Degree I see. No, twister. He'll no, do I'll twister. Go for twister. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just so hang on, hang there until I get over here. I'll do it with you. She's running. Well, the Oval, you know, the Oval in front of the Art Museum, the city's newest park on the parkway is what it's being called today and throughout the week. Yeah, there's a bunch of activities taking place. And Stacey Stopper is live on the Ben Franklin Parkway to tell us what is going on there. All chillin', kinds of things. Chill it. It is, it is a beautiful morning here at the Oval in the shade. We kind of got this, like, beach breeze going by. And while I know we're not at the beach, it is beach-like. This is the theme of uh, the next five weeks here at the Oval. It is called Park on the Parkway. And what it is, it's just a, a huge area. They kind of overtook the old parking lot and made it into, like, this play center for adults and kids. You can see the ping-pong tables there. And if we walk a little bit closer, Tom, I showed this early earlier in our seven o'clock hour, but I just love it. Life-size board games, Twister, which Mike will be out here at some point playing, and chess, and there's cornhole games, there's volleyball, and the other part of this are arts and music. And the best part about what they're doing here at the Oval is this is all free. It is running day and night activities for everybody to enjoy. And then they're also going to have food. So they really just want to make this a community center, people to chill out, relax, have a little fun, bring their kids. Um, and so this is going to take place Tuesdays through Sundays from 9 until 9. It starts today. They're going to kick it off around 10 o'clock. And here's what's going to happen. Each day of the week is going to have a different theme. So on Tuesdays, it'll be wellness. So they'll have expedition uh, exhibitions on wellness, how to stay healthy. Wednesdays, arts and culture. They'll teach you how to paint. There'll be art projects for the kids Thursdays environment Fridays food and flicks they're actually gonna have food trucks here new ones every day so you can eat uh, and enjoy all that uh, the city has to offer and Saturdays live music series and Sundays family fun day so well, a lot to do yeah. for, for anybody really sure right? I, I didn't realize adults come over there too uh, so yeah the twister in the chair I got what the heck is a cornhole game is that like a beanbag game into that little <laughs> hole on the, the thing and also it, 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 
Oh, I heard that kids could play in a giant sandbox. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. There's so much to talk about. I'm so sorry, Mike. I teased it uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Look at this. I'm going to actually kick my shoes off. Well, it's not that big, but it's big off. enough. Look oh, at look it. At There's two little... of them. Yeah. There are two of them. And, oh, it feels so nice and cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just wish it was so It's almost like hot. Avalon. Almost. <laughs> but if you get out there early enough, uh, how soon could they go? I mean, is it 10 o'clock is the start, or can we go earlier? Uh, 10 o'clock is really the kickoff, yeah. but um, after that, every day, you could get here at 9 a.m. So today, just wait till 10 o'clock. And by the way, they're going to have that big chess tournament at noon. So that'll probably be cool that's to see. Right. That's cool. So life size. And don't they have music later tonight, too? Music tonight, and then it'll be uh, every night. And you should see, I don't know if you can see the Chinese lanterns hanging from the trees. And they're going to have uh, well, this all pretty. lit up. This is going to be gorgeous at night. You're right, Mike. Well, I'm glad that the heat wave will be, hopefully will break Saturday, uh, so it'll be better next week. But uh, it's worth going out there today.